I know it's been a while since I've made a vlog video, but, and I hate to come out of the block, so to speak, with a sort of a negative vlog video, but really what I want to, uh, my intent is very positive. Not, it's not negative at all. So I'm watching the Alabama LSU football game here, as any red-blooded boy from the South would be doing at this time. And, you know, you may have heard in the, uh, in the media or in the uh, in the news lately about chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is uh, a brain disease that's caused by a lot of uh, repetitive traumas like from boxing and so on and football. But not only do we have that, but we also have players getting paralyzed as you know, I mean, you don't have to uh, be into sports to know that. So I'm watching this play and I see a, uh, a play that they slow I mean, they play back in slow motion that epitomizes um, stupid play. And I, and I say that lovingly, seriously, because uh, I don't want people to get hurt playing football. And I'll say also that admittedly, when I played football, I tended to do the same thing because you don't know what it's like to... Um, you know, have to control your emotions until you're in your anger, so to speak, and your aggression until you're in that situation. So as I'm, you know, as I'm critiquing this, it really is, uh, I'm really doing it lovingly. But check this out. And this is the exact mechanism by which uh, you can get paralyzed, even possibly killed. Watch this. All right, so he's going to... Pass it. Watch the guy, not that tackles him, but this guy that comes in late. Now watch on the replay. He's coming in with his head, leading with his head, not his shoulder, not his arms, leading straight away with his head. Watch this replay. Not him, the next guy. Him. Leading with it. Here's the angle. You can see it. Check this out. Lead, did you see that? He, I mean, he is spearheading. That is textbook how not to play football. And it's textbook, it's literally, uh, look at that. He is literally, that's like when I watch that, it's almost as if he's suicidal. And, and I'm, I'm not saying, I'm seriously not saying this to be funny. It's, um, that is how you can get paralyzed playing football or get paralyzed period because the axial compression on your cervical spine from your skull down to your cervical spine is tremendous when you hit someone straight on with the top of your head that is uh, you can get what's called a burst fracture on your uh, first cervical vertebrae and then that subsequently can uh, it can you know mess up your spinal cord obviously to say the least so man it's um, it's I, I don't uh, guys that play football don't play like this use your head and I don't mean as a weapon I mean think with your head and think about what can happen and this is exactly what you don't want to do textbook what not to do when you're playing football this right here, one more time. Man, and, and luckily he, uh, it was, you know, not a, uh, ended up not being a solid blow. So, you know, it didn't even really, it didn't even have much impact. The worst thing on top of that is as if that was uh, not dumb enough. And again, I'm not knocking the guy. I'm, uh, I'm knocking the, uh, that he made a dumb decision at that moment. And guess what? I have made that same decision before, and I woke up uh, quite a few minutes later with the paramedics asking me where I was. So, um, you know, it's in the heat of the moment. It's hard not to. Uh, it's hard not to do that sometimes. And in the helmets are so protective these days that uh, it. it it creates uh, it creates it such that we're not we. I don't play football anymore, but. Uh, that athletes are not afraid to use their head as a weapon because your head is so protected. You feel you feel um, safe, but you know in an unwarranted manner. You know you feel you have a false sense of security. That's what I'm trying to say. But the worst thing about this 
play is that the guy was down already or on his way down. For those of you that don't know, in, uh, in college football, once you hit the ground, you're down. No one else has to touch you. So even if he didn't touch this guy at all, the guy's doing a flip. The guy is on his, the guy's on his way down already. All you have to do at that point, number 28, is stand there and look at him. Even if you don't want to stand there and look at him, don't like go after him with your head. Man, come on. All right, guys, like I said, if you play football, use your head, use your brain, not your head. That's how to better say it. Peace.